Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how car salesmen are going broke. But before we get into this video, as always, if you can save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you can see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. So with the downturn that we are starting to see with the car market, salespeople at dealerships are going to be the hardest hit. And that's what I really want to dive into in today's video. I just made a video yesterday talking about how finance managers are taking a big pay cut. But something that I should have mentioned in that video is that although they're taking a pay cut, they're still going to be getting a paycheck. They're still going to be able to make a living, whereas the same definitely can't be said for salespeople. And this is why. Now, before I fully dive into this, I need to basically describe some terms so you guys can understand what I am saying. So I'm going to be talking about gross profit and net profit in this video. When I talk about gross profit, I'm talking about the profit that a dealer makes on the car deals that is almost going to be considered net profit in a sense. And what I mean by this is let's say that a dealership sells one car and they make $2,000 and then they sell another car and then they lose $2,000. Their gross profit would then be zero. Now, obviously, if they were running things in you know a true gross profit sense, then their gross profit would be 2000 and then they'd have an expense of 2000 but this is just how dealerships typically set up their pay plans is the gross profit is the amount of money that is made off of car deals minus the amount of money that is lost off of car deals now when i use the term net profit i'm talking about the actual net profit that a dealership makes after all expenses so after they pay the employees rent all that kind of stuff so i just need to get that out of the way so if we look at how the dealership is structured from an employment standpoint, this will help explain why you're gonna see a lot of salespeople really suffer. So at the top, you've got the owner of a store. Now, the owner of a store will pay themselves in two different ways typically. Some owners will pay themselves off of the net profit of a store. Other owners will basically make the store just pay them a flat rate per car. And so what that means is they'll just, whatever whenever the store sells a car, they just get paid a certain amount of money. Whether the store actually makes money on that car deal or not doesn't matter the owner still gets paid it's kind of a an interesting scheme but you know it, it, it's what they do now just below that you have the general manager now this is the person that actually will run the day-to-day -day operations for the owner and how they'll typically get paid is two different ways they'll usually have their base pay based off of the gross profit of the store again the you know sales profit minus the sales losses and then they will typically get a bonus based on the net profit of the store. So basically it's saying, hey, here is your base pay off of, again, the gross profit. And then if you make it so that my dealership is more profitable after paying all the employees and all the expenses, then you're gonna get a nice little bonus for it. Now, just below the general manager, you have the general sales manager. This is usually considered the worst position in the dealership. And general sales managers will typically get paid a percentage of the gross profit of the dealership on the car deals. And then just below that, you have the sales managers and similar thing. They usually get paid off of the gross profit of the dealership, but obviously a smaller percentage compared to the general sales manager because they're in you know a lower position. Now, some dealers will have you know quote unquote floor managers, um, and these will typically be positions that'll have like teams under them and they'll usually get paid off of the profits of their team and so you guys can see things kind of like start to tear down more and more and then obviously below that you have the salespeople. now there are two main pay plans out in the world there is the gross profit pay plan and then there is the volume pay plan so with the gross profit pay plan this is where a dealer basically pays a salesperson based on the gross profit that they make for the store they get a percentage of that on the volume pay plan this is where a dealer will basically just pay a salesperson based on how many cars they sell so it doesn't matter how much money they make off those cars it just matters how many cars they sell and this is exactly why you're going to see salespeople suffer as the car market continues to get worse so as the car market constricts and we see less and less volume and less and less profitability Pareto's distribution is going to become a lot more apparent and what this is is basically a small group of people are going to do all the work for a company, right? And this is exactly what you see at dealerships, right? A small group of salespeople sell most of the cars and then a large group of salespeople don't sell that many cars. I mean, when I worked at a dealership, that is exactly what I saw. I mean, you'd have salespeople that would sell 30 cars a month and then most of the salespeople would sell, you know, maybe a couple cars a month, like not that many. And so it, it, it really, it, it's crazy just like how well that mirrors reality. Now, Pareto's distribution is not an issue when you have a 
euphoric car market like we had over the last couple of years where pretty much all the salespeople were able to make good money because profits were so high and volume was so high. But when we go into a market where both of those things are a lot lower, well, this is going to really come into effect. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see a small group of salespeople that are selling all the cars and making all the money. And then the rest of the salespeople are basically going to starve. But like I said earlier in the video, the other positions at the dealership are not really going to be in trouble. Yes, their paychecks are going to be smaller, but they're still going to get paychecks and their paychecks are still typically going to be high enough to allow them to survive within the economy. And this is where I want to talk about like actual pay. Now, it's obviously going to vary dealership to dealership, but what you usually see with like a store owner, just for one store, most store owners will make at least half a million, if not a million plus dollars per year. And so if they go from making, you know, 1.5 million to $1 million per year, uh, I, you know, they're going to be fine. And then you look at, you know, general managers and most of them are making, again, at least half a million to over a million dollars per year. And sometimes even more if they run a bigger store. And so if they go from that to making, you know, like if they go from a million, a million dollars per year to making half a million, it's like, oh no, I'm going to have to uh, not buy a boat this year, right? It's, it's, it's not a big deal. And then you look at general sales managers and it's going to vary, but they'll usually make two hundred dollars to $400,000 per year. And so again, same logic applies there. Sales managers usually make um, just a little bit uh, less than that. So usually at least $100,000 per year, but usually closer to the $200,000 per year range, sometimes even $300,000 per year. But then you look at the average salesperson and yes, over the course of the pandemic, a lot of salespeople are making $100,000 per year, but that's going to contract a massive amount. And so now you're going to see a lot of salespeople that are making, you know, $20,000, $30,000 per year, sometimes, you know, maybe even less depending on how their pay plan is structured. And frankly, just depending on how many cars they sell. And so you can see if someone, again, goes from making, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars per year to maybe a hundred thousand dollars per year you know, that's a big pay cut, but like that's enough money to be able to survive in today's economy. But if someone goes from making $100,000 per year to making $20,000 per year, they literally go from, you know, being someone that can afford a decent lifestyle to literally being in poverty. So here is what you're going to see because of this whole situation. And I'm already seeing this unfold at a lot of dealerships. Dealerships are actually going to fire salespeople because Dealers do not want the car deals to be split up. Now, you think that a dealership would want to have as many salespeople as possible so that they're paying their people the least amount possible, right? Because a lot of these pay plans are usually tiered where if you sell more cars, then you usually are going to get a bigger and bigger cut if you're paid off of gross. And then same thing with the volume pay plans as well. But with that being said, the dealers want their salespeople to be experts so they take good care of their customers. And that leads to even more car sales down the road. And, you know, they, they want their salespeople to stay. That's a big thing, right? If their salespeople aren't making any money, they're not going to stay anyways. And so you're going to see a lot of layoffs in the dealer world. And the thing that I think is really crazy is there were some dealers that were telling me that they needed salespeople just a few months ago. And those same dealers have about the same amount of salespeople as they had before. And now they're saying that, no, they don't need any salespeople and they're considering firing some of their salespeople. So it, it's, it's a huge shift. So normally in this point of the video, I basically say, how can you use this information to help you out as a consumer? But like, there's nothing that you can really use from this video to help you out as a consumer. So how can you use this information to help you out as a struggling salesperson that is going from six figures to food stamps? And here's the deal. If you want to stay in sales, you need to just hustle like crazy right now. Tons of social media, tons of like, you know, calling customers, like you need to just be like on it because you're gonna have to throw a ton of darts at the board before anything lands with how hard it is to get car deals. You can't just sit at your desk and scroll through whatever you scroll through, like Instagram, play Candy Crush. You can't do that and just get car deals. Like that is not the market we're in now. The market that we're in now is you have to work your ass off for car deals. But what I would also do is I would have a safety in the back. And what I would actually do is try to stay at the dealership because although things are rough right now, they will surely improve in the future. And, you know, if you leave the dealership, then you're out, right? You have no chance of moving forward from that point. But, you know, if on the side you go and you know, do some schooling to basically train to become a mechanic, then if things get bad enough, then you can go back in the service department and work on cars. And we still have a mechanic shortage right now. Like 
that is something that would be really good. Or if you don't really want to work on cars, service advisor, you're basically a salesperson. You get yelled at a lot more, but you can still make good money and people are always going to need their cars serviced. And so you're always going to have a paycheck versus, you know, having your paycheck based off of whether people are buying cars or not. And so that's, that's what I would do as a salesperson. So again, I would work extremely hard. And if that doesn't work out, I would have a fallback where I could either jump back into the service department being a service advisor or, you know, spend the time to, you know, go to school to have, you know, the ability to be a mechanic. And I think mechanic at the dealership is one of the most underrated positions because you can make well over six figures per year. You don't usually have to deal with customers. Yeah, you got to deal with annoying stuff with cars. You got to get your hands dirty, but like, you know, you pretty much have a guaranteed paycheck back there. That's going to sum things up for today's video. I'll see you guys.